What's going on, guys? Today we got two NFL player props here on Price Picks for Monday Night Football between the Vikings and the 49ers. Before I get started, you guys check a look in the description below. Hop in our premium Discord, nine dollars and thirty cents per month. It's where I post all the plays I'm making on Price Picks. We also have other premium cappers in there as well that post all their plays, research, and analysis. It's a super positive community, you guys. Everyone in there really just trying to help each other cash. Again, link in the description below for that. I also need to mention I'm not a gambling expert and this is not financial advice. These are simply plays I'm personally looking at making, hopefully giving us some insight and analysis to make your own player prop decisions here. But let's get right into this. Two NFL player props here for monday night football between the vikings and the 49ers i am up making or actually recording this video on sunday a little bit earlier i'm doing traveling on monday so had to get this video made and for you guys right now hopefully these lines don't bump but again the value and the research and information should rather relatively be the same so first play is going to be tj hawkinson over five and a half receptions this has absolutely been a wagon for us all season long. We know Hawkinson ha dominates the target share, especially now without no Justin Jefferson. Looking at this matchup, seven point spread, 43 and a half over under, playing indoors at home for Minnesota. Uh, obviously, indoor games, dome games, you know, generally have a little bit more offense, a little bit less room for, or I guess, less opportunity for error caused by weather. But we look at specifically TJ Hawkinson, right? He's been dominating the target share all season long from the tight end position. Saw 32% target per share last week with first game without Justin Jefferson. Saw eight targets on six catches. Got off to a kind of a slow start, but it's consistently seen eight plus targets in almost every single game this season. We look, we know the 49ers are elite at stopping the run and they bring a ton of pressure to the quarterback, which always kind of results in quarterbacks, right? So we look at quarterbacks, pass attempts, the 49ers second most pass attempts to the quarterback position, along with the to second most total pass completions. And we know Hawkinson will and I continue to be Kirk Cousins safety blanket, right? We look at tight ends overall. Um, 49ers giving up what the fifth, uh, one, two, three, sixth most targets to the tight end position on the season, 135 total targets. We look at similar tight ends game log this season versus the 49ers. I mean, Zach Ertz went 10, 10 targets for six catches. Higby and Waller both had seven risk targets as well. But no, again, none of these guys, none of these guys are remotely close to the target monster that TJ Hawkinson is, especially at this, in this home game here. And we know the 49ers, like I said, 49ers, they don't bring a ton of blitz, right? Right here, 20.3% of the time, but they are so good at stopping the run and so good with their schemes that they really force, um, you know, opposing quarterbacks to check down and, and look for their safety blankets, right? Like TJ Hawkinson. We look over on Outlier again. There's a link in the description below. You can hop in, hop in there and get a seven day free trial. TJ Hawkinson is over this receptions line in seven of his last 10 games, you guys. Seven of his last 10. And we know this since joining kind of the Vikings has really, really turned it on and just been an absolute dominant player, right? He's over in four of his last five home games, 13, 10, 8, and 8 total receptions here. I just think if the Niners want to stay in this game, want to keep this game competitive, they're going to need to use TJ Hawkinson. Five and a half receptions for Hawkinson is going to be the first play. Again, I want to keep these videos a little bit shorter, a little bit more concise and simple. The second play is going to be the opposite tight end. It's just going to be George Kittle over four receptions here so obviously george kittle there is no um debo samuel in this game and we look at george kittle his game log with the 49ers without debo samuel right he's pushed or gone over this line in every single game except for three different games right three different games he's gone over this line or at least uh pushed right tj hawkinson we know the 49 uh minnesota vikings they blitz the most in nfl 57.9 new uh brian Froes, obviously the defensive coordinator loves to blitz the quarterback and you can see here when quarterbacks are blitzed they love to check down similarly to what i just talked about um with uh tj hawkinson they love to check down to the tight end and now with without debo samuel i think that even creates a larger target share for george kittle right we look at total receptions the vikings down here 20th 32 total receptions to the tight end position and then we look at tight ends game log this season versus the Vikings. We've seen three tight ends, three different tight ends specifically, and three different matchups clear this line against the Vikings. Goddard had six, Everett had six, and Travis Kelsey had 10. So all we need here is at least four for George Kittle for this line to push here. Um, we look to take a look over on Outlier. George Kittle currently is at four and a half receptions on most books, right? Obviously the under. If the under is so juiced on, the, um, on this for... Uh, for George Kittle, right? The Vikings, if we go to the over, the 30th best matchup according to Outlier for George Kittle over four and a half receptions. So these are the two plays for this YouTube video, guys. It's going to be uh, TJ Hawkinson over five and a half receptions, George Kittle over four receptions. Let me know in the comments below what you feel about these two plays. Drop a like on this video, hit that subscribe button, and as always, let's catch.